stepped back into the technicolor wonder of yesteryears, where the silver screen whispered secrets of the extraordinary and the bizarre. Cast your mind to a time when giant footprints punctuated the landscape, and ordinary teenagers grew to towering heights, evoking a sense of awe and hilarity that lingers even today. Ah, uh, yes, the iconic village of the giants of 1965, a cinematic escapade that dared to supersize the ordinary and push the boundaries of imagination. Do you remember the first time those images danced before your eyes? Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon, the flickering glow of the television captivating your senses as the film's whimsical premise unfurled. Maybe you were enveloped in a cozy blanket, popcorn in hand, as you journeyed through a world where teenagers quite literally stood above the rest. As the plot unfolded and the youthful giants indulged in playful mischief, did you find yourself laughing at their antics or secretly wishing to partake in their colossal adventure? Those moments, forever etched in the fabric of your memories, are a testament to the power of storytelling and the silver screen's ability to transport us to realms beyond our wildest dreams. And now, as we step behind the scenes, let's unveil some captivating snippets that add a touch of enchantment to the film you once enjoyed. Did you know that the film's concept sprang from a tale by H.G. Wells, who explored the idea of size-altering substances long before it graced the big screen? Or that the movie's impressive giant props were a result of ingenious set design, cleverly crafted to make the colossal teens come to life? These enchanting nuggets of information peel back the curtain, revealing the craftsmanship and creativity that gave birth to the village of the giants phenomenon. So, there you have it, the delightful tidbits that infuse a new layer of magic into a cherished cinematic experience. The next time you catch a glimpse of oversized footprints on a sandy shore, or teenagers reveling in their towering glory, let your mind wander back to that first encounter with the village of the giants. Reflect on the laughter it stirred, the wonder it ignited, and the lasting connection it forged between you and the art of storytelling. And now, as we bid adieu to the land of giants and the memories it bestowed upon us, remember that the tapestry of cinematic history is woven from such threads of imagination. So, go forth, treasure those moments, and continue to seek the extraordinary and the ordinary, it's all part of the magic of the movies. Hollywood Legacy shines in 1965 seconds Village of the Giants in the annals of cinematic history. The year 1965 gave rise to an intriguing production that brought together a remarkable cast of rising stars, each connected by the threads of Hollywood lineage. Village of the Giants, directed by Bert I. Gordon, stands as a peculiar yet fascinating testament to Tinseltown's interconnected tapestry. At the heart of this sci-fi comedy are the children of established Hollywood icons, their performances adding an undeniable flair to the film. Notable among them are Bo Bridges, son of the revered Lloyd Bridges, and Ron Howard, whose father Rance Howard was no stranger to the silver screen. Tisha Sterling, daughter of the illustrious Anne Southern, adds her own spark, alongside Tony Basil, offspring of the famed Louis Basil, and Tim Rooney, carrying the legacy of none other than Mickey Rooney. This convergence of Hollywood lineage lent a unique energy to the film, propelling it into the realms of unforgettable cinema. However, it wasn't just the cast that rendered Village of the Giants a cinematic curiosity. The film featured a feline character, portrayed by the enigmatic Orangey, later known as Minerva. Orangey's cinematic journey had already taken him into the world of size anomalies, as he previously portrayed a larger-than-life cat in The Incredible Shrink King Man. His memorable roles, such as the titular rhubarb in the film of the same name and the feline companion in Breakfast at Tiffany's, had endeared him to audiences. In Village of the Giants, Orangey's presence added a whimsical touch, connecting threads across different cinematic narratives. While this film might not have etched itself into the pantheon of cinematic masterpieces, its unique amalgamation of Hollywood progeny and its inclusion of a legendary feline performer remind us of the rich tapestry that is classic cinema. Village of the Giants embodies a moment in time when legacies intertwined, leaving an indelible mark on the celluloid chronicles. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood's history, Village of the Giants holds its own as a peculiar yet captivating chapter, where legacies converged and a larger-than-life feline took its place on the silver screen, a reminder that cinema's magic often resides in the most unexpected corners. Lost and Found, Unraveling the Enigma of the Giant Cat and Village of the Giants in the Annals of Cinematic Curiosities The 1965 film Village of the Giants stands as a quirky testament to the era's fascination with science fiction and teenage rebellion. Amid the spectacle of giant teenagers wreaking havoc, a peculiar enigma unfolds, that of the colossal cat whose fate remains an enduring mystery. While the movie's plot races forward with rampaging giants and conspicuous tie-ins, the fate of this feline outlier raises perplexing questions that continue to confound. Director Bert I. Gordon, known for his penchant for blending science fiction with fantastical growth scenarios, weaves a tale that leaves no shortage of inexplicable elements. Village of the Giants is replete with outsized chaos, but the giant cat's trajectory stands as a paradox, untouched by resolution. The cinematic canvas showcases the extraordinary growth of human and animal alike, met with interventions either lethal or corrective. Yet, the orange tabby cat, the first to attain gigantic proportions, defies this pattern. 
As the narrative unfurls, our colossal feline character emerges, only to exit the stage without a trace. Notably absent from the resolutions that befall other gargantuan creatures, the giant cat remains an unrevealed secret, a plot hole left ajar. Speculations abound, did it continue its colossal existence in the world beyond the movie's realm? Was it an inadvertent oversight by the filmmaker, or perhaps a deliberate cliffhanger, lost to the whims of cinematic production? Bird Eye Gordon himself, queried about the cat's fate, could offer no solace to the curious mind seeking closure. Like an enigmatic brushstroke on an otherwise vibrant canvas, the giant cat stands as a testament to the complexities of filmmaking, an accidental symbol of unresolved intrigue. In the grand tapestry of Village of the Giants, where oversized teenagers romp and a brand of chicken finds its cameo, the giant cat remains an untamed mystery, a charming anomaly in an era defined by bold storytelling choices. As the credits roll and the screen fades to black, the question remains, what became of the colossal cat? A riddle woven into the very fabric of this cinematic oddity, a question that lingers, unanswered and intriguing, preserving the allure of the inexplicable. Village of the Giants, unveiling the unconventional Perceptivision filming technique in the annals of cinematic history. The year 1965 left an indelible mark with the release of Village of the Giants, a sci-fi comedy that introduced an audacious innovation to the silver screen. At the heart of the movie's uniqueness was its employment of the avant-garde Perceptivision filming technique, a curious choice that stirred both intrigue and skepticism among cinephiles. Village of the Giants, directed by Bert I. Gordon, took a bold step by adopting Perceptivision, a format designed to heighten the visual experience for audiences. While its impact was debatable, the ambition was unmistakable. The film's narrative unfolded through the lens of Perceptivision, offering a distinctive perspective that echoed the film's larger-than-life premise, teenagers turned giants wreaking havoc on an unsuspecting village. Beau Bridges, then in his early adulthood, assumed a pivotal role as the de facto leader of the colossal adolescence. Reflecting on the film years later, Bridges remarked, I took it all quite seriously. I thought it was my chance to really be a spokesperson for my generation, you know. His recollections encapsulate the fervor and idealism of youth, a sentiment that infused the movie's underlying themes of freedom and rebellion. Exteriors for the film were shot on the Columbia Studios' backlot, now a part of the Warner Bros. backlot, sharing a historic space with TV classics like Bewitched and I Dream of Genie. The same backlot, reimagined, would later stand in as the iconic Hill Valley for Back to the Future in 1985. Meanwhile, Universal Studios' Courthouse Square provided a canvas for several scenes, cementing its cinematic legacy as a versatile backdrop for various eras and tales. Bridge's introspective portrayal aside, the movie's legacy rests partly on its bold visual experiment. Though the efficacy of Perceptivision could be debated, its inclusion underscored the film's willingness to push boundaries. In an era marked by cultural shifts and societal transformations, Village of the Giants dared to mirror the zeitgeist through its unconventional lens. As time has progressed, Village of the Giants may have assumed a different status in the cinematic pantheon. Yet, its audacious use of Perceptivision and Bridges' earnest embodiment of youthful ideals remain emblematic of an era defined by creative exploration and generational assertion. So, while the Perceptivision may have faded from the limelight, its brief appearance in the narrative of Village of the Giants serves as a testament to the cinematic experiments of a bygone era, a marker of innovation and artistic daring that continues to intrigue and inspire. As we bid adieu, the celluloid strands of the past unfurl their enigmatic dance, weaving the tapestry of nostalgia. The echoes of Village of the Giants, a cinematic gem born of 1965, whisper through time, beckoning us to explore the corridors of memory. Like hidden treasures, the scenes unfold, each frame a portal to another era, an era where innocence collided with the audacious, and where giants roamed both in stature and spirit. As you tread the sepia-toned lanes of your own recollections, let the movie's vibrant charm be your guide. Did you find yourself entangled in the delightful chaos of teens turned towering titans? Did the fantastical tale stir your imagination, leading you to ponder over the concept of power and its consequences? Or perhaps, amidst the larger-than-life spectacle, a quieter connection was formed, a secret rendezvous between your heart and the celluloid, a shared understanding of the magic that only cinema can conjure. Now, it's your time to shine. Dust off the cobwebs of memory, resurrect the snapshots of emotion, and share your personal ode to Village of the Giants. Let your words become brushstrokes on the canvas of conversation, as you paint a vivid picture of what this cinematic journey means to you. Through your stories, the legacy of Village of the Giants continues to thrive, a testament to its timeless allure and your unique perspective. So, as the curtain falls on this reflection, I invite you to indulge in the sentimentality of your own connection with this classic, and celebrate the way it has enriched your cinematic voyage. Thank you for entrusting me with this journey down memory lane, your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Here's to the giants we've encountered, both on screen and within ourselves. Until our narratives intertwine again, take care, keep exploring, and keep the stories alive. Stay captivated, stay curious, and remember, it's the magic of the movies that often makes us feel like giants in our own right.